From violent brawls to deadly conspiracies, the name Shug Knight has been synonymous with controversy in the world of hip-hop. Join us as we delve into the high-profile feuds and shocking rumors surrounding one of the most notorious figures in the history of the genre. As you probably already know, Shug Knight was involved in the infamous East Coast-West Coast battle that pitted rappers, the notorious B.I.G., and Tupac Shakur against each other. There were multiple accusations thrown his way, but he was never found guilty for the deaths of Tupac and Biggie. After Tupac's death, Death Row's legacy was kept alive by Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. In fact, Snoop acquired the Death Row catalog in 2022 and dropped all of the label's music on streaming services in 2023. But let's not forget about the beef between Suge Knight and Dr. Dre. Rumors started circulating after the release of Tupac and Dr. Dre's California Love, and it led to Dre's departure from Death Row. The drama affected not only the label, but also overshadowed the music produced by these legendary artists. Suge Knight and Dr. Dre's beef has a long and complicated history, dating back to the early days of Death Row Records. In 1991, Suge Knight and Dr. Dre founded Death Row Records together, and the label quickly became one of the most successful and influential in hip-hop history. However, tensions between the two men began to simmer, and eventually boiled over in 1995, when Dr. Dre left the label to form his own imprint, Aftermath Entertainment. The split was not amicable, with both men airing their grievances in the media and through diss tracks. Dr. Dre accused Suge Knight of being a bully and a thug and criticized his management style and business practices. Suge Knight, on the other hand, accused Dr. Dre of disloyalty and betrayal and claimed that he had not fulfilled his contractual obligations to Death Row Records. The beef between Suge Knight and Dr. Dre continued to escalate, with both men taking shots at each other in their music and in interviews. In 1996, the feud reached a boiling point when Suge Knight and his associates allegedly assaulted Dr. Dre at the Source Awards. This incident left Dr. Dre with a broken rib and a black eye and cemented the animosity between the two men. Over the years, Suge Knight and Dr. Dre have continued to trade jabs and insults, with Suge Knight even releasing diss tracks aimed at his former partner. However, the two men have also had moments of reconciliation, with Dr. Dre acknowledging Suge Knight's role in his early success and paying tribute to him in his music. Despite the ups and downs of their relationship, the beef between Suge Knight and Dr. Dre remains one of the most notorious in hip-hop history and has had a lasting impact on the industry. Another high-profile feud involving Suge Knight was with Puff Daddy. The beef between Suge Knight and P. Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, dates back to the 1990s when the East Coast-West Coast hip-hop rivalry was at its peak. The feud not only involved Suge Knight and P. Diddy, but also their respective record labels, Death Row Records and Bad Boy Records, and their marquee artists, Tupac Shakur and the Notorious B.I.G. The rivalry started heating up when Tupac got shot and robbed in a recording studio in New York City in 1994. Tupac pointed fingers at Biggie and P. Diddy, claiming they were involved in the attack, but they both denied it. This led to a series of diss tracks with both sides trading insults and accusations. In 1995 at the Source Awards, Suge Knight took a direct jab at P. Diddy during his acceptance speech. Knight threw shade at Diddy, saying, Any artist out there that wants to be an artist and stay a star and don't have to worry about their executive producer trying to be in all of the videos, all on the records, dancing, come to death row. That comment was a clear shot at Diddy, who always appeared in his artist's music videos. The feud went next level level when Tupac released the infamous diss track, Hit Him Up, in 1996, targeting Biggie, P. Diddy, and other bad boy affiliates. The song contained explicit lyrics and made several allegations, including a claim that Tupac had slept with Biggie's wife, Faith Evans. Later that year, Tupac was fatally shot in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, fueling tensions between the two camps. In March 1997, Biggie was murdered in a similar drive-by shooting in Los Angeles. Many people speculated that Suge Knight was involved in both Tupac's and Biggie's deaths, but no concrete evidence has ever been produced to support these claims. The East Coast-West Coast rivalry eventually calmed down and the beef between Suge Knight and P. Diddy also cooled off. 
Both parties focus on their respective careers and business ventures. However, the feud between these two hip-hop moguls remains one of the most infamous chapters in the history of the genre, a symbol of a turbulent and dangerous era in hip-hop that ultimately claimed the lives of two of its most talented artists. There was also a significant conflict between Suge Knight and Easy e The feud primarily stemmed from Dr. Dre's decision to leave Ruthless Records, Easy es label, to join Suge Knight's Death Row Records. In the movie Straight Outta Compton, Suge Knight is depicted as beating up Easy e to force him to release Dr. Dre from his contract with Ruthless Records. This event reportedly happened in real life, and Easy e wanted to retaliate by killing Suge. Easy e even reportedly hired an ex-Israeli soldier to threaten Suge Knight. There's a conspiracy theory suggesting that Suge Knight was responsible for Easy es death by injecting him with AIDS-infected blood. However, there's no substantial evidence to support this claim, and it remains a rumor. Regarding the conflict between Suge Knight and Dr. Dre, their beef contributed to the tragic incident that resulted in the death of Terry Carter. During the filming of a promotional video for the NWA biopic, Straight Outta Compton, over the years, Suge Knight has faced numerous legal troubles, which have only added to his controversial image. He has been involved in multiple incidents of violence and has served time in prison for assault and other offenses. In 2015, Suge Knight was arrested on suspicion of murder after a hit-and-run incident that left one man dead and another injured. He was later sentenced to 28 years in prison for his crime. In conclusion, Suge Knight's history of beefs and controversies has undoubtedly left a lasting mark on the hip-hop world. From his tumultuous relationships with iconic artists like Dr. Dre and Tupac Shakur, to his involvement in the East Coast-West Coast rivalry, Suge Knight's story serves as a cautionary tale of the dark side of fame and the rap industry. As we wrap up this video, it's essential to remember that while the drama and controversies surrounding Suge Knight have certainly made headlines, they've also overshadowed the music and the talent that emerged from Death Row Records during its heyday. Let's appreciate the artistry and impact of legendary artists who were part of this era while learning from the mistakes and conflicts that plagued their careers. Despite the various controversies and challenges throughout his career, Suge Knight's meteoric rise and the establishment of Death Row Records undoubtedly changed the course of American music for Forever, particularly in the hip-hop genre. His story continues to captivate audiences, as evidenced by the upcoming TV series and numerous books written all about his life and the rise of Death Row Records. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the controversies and beef surrounding Suge Knight. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up.